Hey, friends. Hi. Hi, Hi. kids. Hi, Miss Shelley. Hi, Gus. Hi. What you, <laughs> so what you been doing? Oh, I've been playing outside. The other day it snowed, and so we played in the snow for a little bit, and it was fun. Yeah, it's fun till you get too cold, right? Yeah, you have to come in and warm up. Hot chocolate, baby. Oh, yeah, and a fireplace. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's the best. Yeah, that's my kind of talk right there. Yes, ma'am. Well, guess what day it is, Gus? It's a Sunday, which means it's a good day to read. That's right. It's always a great day to read, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Well, when you said you were playing outside, it reminded me of these books and there's two of them but this this one is the main one remind me of i thought we would read it today it's called okay not a stick not a stick i like sticks i knew you did gus yeah and these stories so the other one this is by antoinette portis it okay. looks like she's the author and the illustrator oh wow so that means she wrote the story uh -huh. and she drew the pictures and the other one she's written is called not a box not a box we might read this one another time but okay this one when you play outside, I don't know about you, but I love to use my imagination. Oh, yeah. It's the only way to go. <laughs> yes, it really is the best thing, right? Oh, yeah. And I think sometimes as adults, we forget how to use that imagination. Uh-huh. But kids are awesome. Well, the good thing about a stick is you can play with it as a stick or you can pretend it's something else. Oh. <gasps> That's right. Yep. I knew you would love this story. That's exactly what happened. Oh, so nice. It yeah. says, not a stick. Not a stick. Okay. All right. Let's get it. Let's do this thing. Oh, yeah. Do I get to read some? You sure do, guys. <laughs> All right. I'll read it, and then you can read the next page. Okay, cool. Hey, be careful with that stick. <laughs> you do have to be careful. That's true. Yeah, you can poke your eye out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like on the Christmas story where they say, you'll shoot your eye out. You'll shoot your eye out. It's kind of like that. You'll got to book your eye out. Okay, yeah. now oh, I probably should go back because we distracted our, our listeners. That's okay. okay. So there he is playing with the stick. Yep. And you can read the next part, Gus. You okay. can be them. It's not a stick. What do you mean? What is it? That looks like a fishing pole. Oh, he's pretending. And what yep. is he catching? Ooh, a big old shark. Ah! Ah! Scary. Scary. <laughs> Look where you're going with that stick. Yeah, got to be careful. Sounds just like something a parent would say, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, my mom. Be kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what stick? Oh, what is it this time? Um, Is that a baton? It is. He's being like the band leader, yeah. the band director, right? Like a marching band, yeah. Oh, marching bands are cool. Yeah. They're fun. They are fun. Watch where you point that stick. <laughs> what do you think it's going to be this time? I don't know. Let's see. Oh. This is not a stick. Oh, what is it? Oh, he's using it as a paintbrush. <laughs> oh, and this is a famous painting. Do you know this, friends? I don't. That is by Van Gogh, and it's called A Starry Night. Van Gogh? Go. He is a very famous artist. Where did Van go? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gus, you and your silly jokes. Well, you know what, Gus? Yeah. Do you know how to paint? Yeah, well, kind of. Well, kind of. Painting is one of our favorite things to I do, isn't it? it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, maybe we could learn a little more about Van Gogh. Oh, yeah. Sometimes he's an artist. What do artists do? Well, I think their job is to make pretty things with art and paint and paintbrushes that's right we know somebody that does really beautiful art don't we uh-huh mm -hmm. her name is dion oh yeah she, miss dion the yeah. turquoise iris yes yeah, she paints on lots of things what does she paint can you think of some things mm, she paints flowers she does paint flowers yeah and she paints furniture mm -hmm. she yeah. paints furniture she paints on canvases like this and you know yeah. what what? Recently, I saw her paint on some dresses. Oh, wow. Yeah. So artists can paint on anything they want. Yeah, right? anything. They can yep. use their fingers. They can use a paintbrush. A paintbrush, that's a stick. <laughs> you know what? You actually could paint with a stick. Of course. Might not be as smooth as a brush, though. Yeah. Okay, let's see what else the stick is going to be. Now, what are you doing with that stick? Friends, what do you think it might be? Hmm. hmm. The suspense is killing me. <laughs> oh, it's not a stick. It looks like a barbell and he's lifting weights. 
That's a strong guy, isn't it? He's pretending to be a bodybuilder. Yeah, he is. Well, he's going to make his muscles big Mr. and strong. I'm a muscle man. <laughs> Don't trip on that stick. Look at what he's doing. Don't trip on that stick. What can he be doing? Hmm. Oh, my pages are stuck. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's not a stick. Oh, He's riding it? it like a horsey. He is. You know, when I was little, we had something called stick horses, and it was like a wooden stick, almost like from a broom, oh, yeah? Yeah. and it had the horse's head, and wow. we would pretend to ride it around. Wow, that sounds like fun. But this stick has lots of uses, doesn't it? Of course. It? All right. So, still standing around with that stick. Yeah, I am. <laughs> This is not, not, not a stick. What is it this time? Is that a spear? It is a spear. Wow. It looks like a caveman. He's like a caveman. Yeah. Cavey, cavey. Okay, then. What is it? Hmm. He's pointing it at something. Yeah, he is at me. You think it's like magic, like Harry Potter or something? It could be a magic wand, yeah. Let's see. Oh. <gasps> <Ooh. laughs> no, that's a sword. What's he fighting? A dragon. Dragon. What do dragons breathe? They breathe fire. Look, let's see what he <gasps> says this time. It's my not a stick. Look what he caught. He caught the dragon. He did. Wow. Boy, I love that. This makes me want to go good. outside and do yeah. a little search for a stick. How about you? Me too. I never knew you could do so many things with just a stick. Me either, but you know what? That's what your imagination can do. Isn't that cool, friends? That is fantastic. And you know what's also cool is when we read books, we uh -huh. learn so many things. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, friends, I think we're going to have to go. Gus and I, I think, are going to go find our own stick. Maybe you should do the same thing. I think it's stick time. I yeah. think it's time to find a stick. And maybe you should draw a picture of what your stick is going to be after you figure it out. Yeah, they can make their own book about sticks. They could. It could. It could be lots of things, couldn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, happy times finding your stick. We can't wait to hear, hear what you guys do with yours. Yes, ma'am. All right. See you, friends. Bye.